vices I have, smoking cigars is by far my favorite. Now, I know smoking's bad for your health. It causes high blood pressure, it's bad for your teeth, and there's that whole cancer thing. But I choose to look at the bright side of cigar smoking. Smoking a cigar while enjoying one of my other vices, whiskey. Next to a fire on a nice cool evening, one of the most relaxing activities I have ever found. I tried yoga, it's okay, but not the same. I tried hiking out in nature, good fun exercise, but not even close to smoking a cigar. Not a lot of people know why it is I began smoking cigars, however. When we're all young, there are things that we experience that stay with us for a lifetime. There's good things, there's bad things, and they all affect who we are as adults. For me growing up, I absolutely loved baseball. I loved playing it, I loved watching it on TV, and I especially loved going to games. Growing up near Augusta, Georgia, we had a minor league baseball team. They were the Augusta Pirates originally, and now they're the North Augusta Green Jackets. The original stadium wasn't much bigger than a high school stadium, and it had the old wooden bleachers where we cheer on guys like Moises Alou and Orlando Merced. One of the strongest memories I had at this stadium was as soon as I handed over my ticket, Walk through that gate, I could smell the fresh scent of a burning cigar. Back in those days, smoking was done pretty much anywhere a person felt the need. I never figured out who it was that had a cigar lit at every game, but if I did, I'd thank them for changing my life forever. I swore from then on, as soon as I was old enough, I was going to buy and smoke cigars. I've always related that sweet smell of smoking a cigar to baseball. I have a humidor home that I keep some of my finer stogies in, just waiting on standby, waiting to be smoked at any moment. But one bit of cigar paraphernalia I do not have is a travel case, so I decided to make one. Most humidors and cigar storage containers are made with Spanish cedar, which actually comes from South America. Spanish cedar has absorbent qualities that are perfect for keeping cigars from getting too moist or too dry. But unfortunately, Spanish cedar is not readily available, so I just use some scrap cherry and scrap reclaimed oak. Whenever I'm building a piece for myself, I typically try out new techniques that I haven't done before or I just have very little experience with. I also usually try out new design ideas that are a bit out of the box, so to speak. This way, I figure if the piece turns out horrible, I won't feel bad taking the customer's money for it. I can live with my own mistakes. This also allows me to develop new skills and to learn my limitations as a craftsman. So, 
projects don't always go as planned as well as you'd like. Um, the top fits in, goes in, and out nice. Problem is, gap sucks, miters suck. So I'm gonna have to figure something else out for the top. Uh, I got an idea, so hopefully that one will work out. Just uh, keep it simple sometimes. Just keep it simple is the best way to go. We'll see. A big component to being a craftsman is being able to make adjustments on the fly. When something doesn't quite work the way you had planned, you have three choices. You can quit, but my mama didn't raise no quitter. You can start over from the beginning, but I ain't got time for that. Or you can find a way to make it work. Making it work in a manner that functions and looks as well as originally planned is a common skill of all craftsmen. Yeah, it's time for me to go. Go find a fire, a glass of whiskey, possibly a baseball game, and smoke a cigar. As always, hit that like button, post any thoughts you might have in the comments below, and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys on the next one.